happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Retechus TR627. This is an AM FM NOAA weather band emergency portable radio. They retail new for $29.99 on Amazon. I got mine for $26.99 after a coupon. Deal, not so sure, but uh, an interesting looking radio nonetheless, and I like its size, which we'll get to see here. So yeah, let's check out the box. Retechus, simple brown box. A little information there for you. I don't think there's anything else on the box. Their address, the Made in China QR code. I don't know if you're going to go there or not, but uh, okay, let's open it up, see what we get inside. Yeah, the color scheme caught my eye. I really like it. And then when I received it, I really liked its size too. So, the generator, yeah. <laughs> There's the radio, put that aside. Let's see what we get else. We get the instruction manual. And then I didn't really pull this stuff out because I have my own charging cables and stuff. But let's see what extras they give us. So, we'll pull that insert out. We get a carry strap. Nice. I always like having those handy. They are handy. And then in the bag here, we get a charging cable. It looks like a USB to guess what it is. You're not going to believe it. It is a Type C. Yep, so this is a Type C rechargeable radio. I like the fact that they upgraded that. Awesome. Okay, and empty box. We'll set to the side. Okay, so let's quick look at the instructions. Retechus. And we'll just do this for posterity. There you go, illustrations on what the functions do. In case I missed something, which I don't think I will. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Information there. Um, yeah, I can charge a mobile phone. Actually, the power bank feature isn't bad. It's just that it's a low capacity uh, battery internal. It's not very high capacity. Power supply. There you go. Get an idea. Um, there's the, I always want to know about the dynamo. I don't test that, but it's usually pretty accurate. Uh, if you spin it like two or three times per minute uh, for a while, um, it says it'll be fully charged in four hours. Don't do that. You'll probably break the radio. So just charge it in like, you know, five minute in intervals. <laughs> it says one minute of cranking supports 20 minutes of light or 10 to, 15, 10 to 15 minutes of radio at medium volume. That's not bad. So there you go. When you plug it in with USB, which is the best way to charge the internal battery, it says four and a half hours to charge it. Light goes green when it's charging. It turns off when it's fully charged. And there's some specifications. It shows the internal battery, which I'll try to go over. There you go. All right, now we got some legalese. And I don't know about the back side, if it's more of that. Let's see. FCC requirements, more requirements. Avoid choking hazard, okay. Approved accessories, all right. And then a guarantee over here. Warranty coverage, okay. So we're done with that. Let's get to the radio. Comes in bubble wrap, I like to see that. Always nice, you guys know that. I'm gonna zoom this down, downtown. All right. So yeah, the really cool thing is it's black and yellow. I like that. I think that's awesome. And look how small this is. This is pretty cool. Loving the size right away. Um, and it's clean design. Uh, everything uh, fits well. So yeah, quick overview there. So let's uh, let's go over dimensions. It's uh, a little bit of a dust magnet when it's black, so I might just clean that off real quick. All right, so we're gonna zoom it down even closer. How close can we get? All right, um, so dimension wise, we're five and a quarter inches in length. <clears throat> Excuse me, five and a quarter inches in length. We're uh, two and a half inches in width, and we have a two inches in depth. It includes part of the dynamo where it sticks out a little bit. So there you go. Not a bad size radio. Uh, pretty compact. Uh, you could almost call it an everyday carry emergency radio. Liking that. So uh, let's do a little size comparison. Um, I have some competitors and there's a reason why because the price it's a little pricey for what this offers um it's not a bad radio uh, off the bat it's letting you know the tuner is actually not horrible it's just an average tuner but it does decently enough uh that it's, it's important for an emergency radio to do but it does have competitors on the market such as the cato uh, voyager v2 this one here i think sells for around 24.99 you can get it in yellow too if you like uh, i have the green this one here has shortwave included as well 
if that's your thing. And this also includes a solar panel. But the interesting thing is that the battery's half the capacity as this one, uh, though the speaker audio is nicer on this. Uh, we have a larger unit here. This is the Kato KA336. Again, just showing you for size comparison here. Um, this is a great radio. It's 22 bucks. Again, there's quite you have quite a few options. This one actually has weather alert mode to it. This does not have an alert mode. Um, so things to think about. All three radios uh, run on internal batteries, rechargeable batteries, and they also will run on three AAA batteries. So that's why I did this comparison. So 25 bucks. Uh, $26.99 and $22 to give you an idea for price. All right, so those side there. Um, okay, let's do some more size comparison. I have CC Pocket, little little weather radio here, AM, FM, weather band. Nice to have. Give you an idea. Some more of your pocket radio. All right, but no dynamo crank on it to charge it up. Uh, next we have CC. Skywave real quick. There you go. And then we have, last but not least, Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves emergency radios from Ritekas land. Where are they from? China land. Ding, 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 ding. They make some good radios. I mean, you know, this one stands out as being well made. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and zoom it on down. And let's talk about some features. So right away, they say it weighs 217 grams, if that's a thing for you. It's not that heavy, so great for if you're packing it in a backpack, you're going light camping. Uh, this would work well. Um, it's a nice little light source, which I'm going to show you. Left-hand side of the radio has the LED. On top of the radio has a switch for the LED. Uh, it's got a nice little hot spot, and it actually has a nice halo here. So it does light up an area pretty nicely. I do like that. Um, so yeah, we'll continue on to the front here. The speaker uh, is a one and a half inch speaker. It's rather tinny, but with an emergency radio, you're probably not listening to this daily. Uh, there are some radios you can, emergency radios that are daily use, but this one isn't really daily use. It's more of emergency use. Retechus, I like this yellow treatment. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Model number TR627. You can see the band AM520-1710. Here we have a charge status indicator. Uh, turns green when you're spinning the dynamo or you have hooked up to USB power. Down here we have a red light that comes on when uh, you've got the radio on. Uh, here he says weather band. It says 1 through 7. Got 7 channels. Um, expect uh, average reception. I got about 4 stations when I was uh, tuning this uh, in my location. So uh, FM we have 87 to 108. Handy generator. That's why it's the generator. <laughs> I like it. It's pretty smart that they didn't put a solar panel on here and they went straight to it. Just a dynamo. That's all it needs. Um, so there you go. AM, FM, weatherman radio. SOS. We press this. It gets loud. Okay. Click it once again to turn it off. Um, yeah. Press and hold to, to initiate. Uh, right hand side of the radio, we got a little rubber jacket. Nice to see. Protecting the ports. Underneath there, you'll notice we got a headphone jack. Cool. All right, so your headphone use is going to uh, prolong battery life. And that headphone jack experience is fairly decent. Uh, no low-level hiss, which I was surprised. I figured an inexpensive radio, you'd probably have some hiss, but this did not exhibit any hiss whatsoever. So low volumes, you're going to enjoy this radio. FM, it was weak lows, decent mids, and decent highs. No FM stereo. Not a big deal for a radio in this price range. I'm very happy with that uh, results on FM. I like listening to that. Uh, I don't care for heavy lows, so weak lows is good for me. And decent mids is awesome. So I was pretty happy with the FM uh, listening on the uh, headphones. AM expect lower tone, for a good, which is good for talk radio and sports. You'll notice the uh, input, our Type-C port, DC in, 5 volts. And then we have a USB output. Uh, this is 5 volts at 1 amp. I tested it. It held true. Uh, as it was charging. I didn't do a full discharge, but uh, it did handle it well and didn't sag. I was charging an iPad, which uh, was definitely pulling some power. So there you go. Nice. And it fits nice. I like how that fits right in there. The curve. Good deal. Top of the radio. Controls. We have volume on off. So turns it on. Here our flashlight like you saw there. And of course DC output turns blue here, uh, saying that your USB output is activated. Turn that off. And up here we have our band select AM, FM, weather band. We'll go to weather band. Our tuning, 
as you can see it's got a black indicator and it's not bad I like that all right top of the reel we have our antenna which is the weak point this is only 12 inch yeah it's a bummer and that's why it didn't score very high in the FM reception report on the back we have our handy dandy generator <laughs> here it is and it has a cool little um, I like this uh, yellow little grabber you know the little wheel to grab onto and like I say as you spin it it does turn green let's show you this is hard on camera guys okay you saw a flash right I saw a flash I'm trying to think how to do this Come on. there it is so we're charging we're charging okay you get the idea use that in emergency <laughs> uh, lanyard hookup point for the lanyard they give you bottom of the radio okay I don't forget to do this this is your uh, power source so the internal battery is a 1200 milliamp hour cell it's probably either a flat cell or an 18350 one of the two to be that capacity anything smaller it's misadvertised I didn't take the radio apart to check but nice thing to know is there's a switch here uh, lithium mode or battery mode which is cool so you can use three AAA batteries to power it if the lithium battery fails that's important for most emergency radios to have dual power that's probably the most important factor on emergency radio and this little guy has it uh, again on a small radio it's that's nice to see so all right um, so FM reception report we're gonna talk about that um, it did fairly average um, typically I have a uh, five tier rating fair okay good very good excellent and this scored okay to good right in the middle average typically um, this is a DSP radio digital signal processor it tended to do better but this one did not it averaged the same as like say an analog radio which isn't bad the problem this radio has is it likes to lock on strong stations so you lose selectivity and you're not able to get those faint stations it might be also that it's only a 12 inch antenna um, so yeah that's a, a big issue there uh, selectivity again got okay to good because of that small antenna and that DSP locking on the stronger stations something to keep in mind so there it is okay to okay to good okay to good so uh, not not bad um, a, a good average radio uh, again not something that uh, I would sneeze at it's still useful so let's go ahead and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna do radio Totterbird. let's yeah, let's go to FM so radio Totterbird is my C crane FM transmitter too I have a Sony uh, mp3 player hooked up to it broadcasting royalty free music uh, YouTube sanctioned over 92.9 megahertz to this radio to give you an idea just how the speaker sounds if you compare it to my other videos you'll get an idea so let's see if we can find radio Totterbird. there it is we'll run this for a minute or so
Okay, you get the idea. There's a little audio demonstration. I always like to do that so you can compare it to my other videos. You will hear a difference for sure with the speakers. It's definitely not huge bass to it. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. This is a great little radio. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, switch it to weather band so you can hear that. Everybody knows what the weather band is. We'll just see so what we can pick up here. Probably just my local. I can't spin it. Okay, I can spin it this way, but I can't spin it forward. So we'll see what we can pick up. So let's go ahead and go to weather band one. Turn this up. Gale force gusts are then expected to persist through late this evening. Widespread storm force gusts have ended over the southern half of the lake, with gales expected to continue through the remainder of the afternoon. Yeah, we got wind warnings. Spray will be possible over the northern end of Lake Michigan tonight. So I'm downstairs, so I'm on the slope floor basement. I'm not picking up as much. Like I said, I picked up four upstairs. Here's another one. Just barely picking it up. Let's get to a strong station. East to lower 30s. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour in the evening. Friday, mostly sunny in the morning then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of sprinkles in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-30s to lower 40 to 20 knots becoming southwest 10 to 15 knots. Waves 2 to 4 feet subsiding to 1 to 3 feet. Okay, so you get the idea. I can do it. Um, not a bad little radio to have on hand. So it gets stormy outside. You grab this, you run downstairs, turn it on, and figure out what's happening. Uh, especially if the power goes out, cell uh, connection goes dead, and there's no... Uh, um, hey, it's snagging. Oh, it's the battery compartment. I'm like, hey, what's pulling on my tablecloth? Um, so yeah, something to keep in mind that you just grab this, go... Like I said, you can have your phone to show you the radar information, but if your phone goes out because service dropped... At least you still have connection with the with the NOAA weather radio. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the band. We're going to do an FM band scan, and then we'll see if we can fit in an AM band scan. Now, it's during the day. Um, show the CC Pocket. We're 11.03 AM uh, Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois. I'm doing that because, uh, I'll be honest with you, AM reception is, is average on this radio. You can expect to pick up stations uh, about four or 500 miles away at night. And during the day, you know, at least about close to 50 miles away. So it's, like I say, it's an average AM receiver. So let's go ahead and hook up to FM. I'm going to use a little wire here because I'm in a basement. This is just a 12-volt wire that's in my blinds in my window. And I'm just going to see if I can't get uh, a little extra FM reception out of that. It will be similar to what if I was upstairs. So we're going to switch to FM, middle setting. All right, turn that up. The bottom of the band, 87 megahertz. Exclusively on EWTN Radio. Exciting. I want to make sure we have that. So we're going to do everything we can to uh, maintain. So if your station comes a little distorted, just tune it back and forth and it'll come in nice. People around here are behaving as if the pandemic is over. I recently got takeout from a restaurant. There were a couple dozen people that are just in my line of sight from the door intentional in training our kids in the Lord. So we don't leave it to wherever the wind blows and what's on the other hand have more of a tr of troubles with that sort of thing. Oh man. A lot of websites um, I know if you look at the websites about losing vicious wires, staying healthy, they hate unlawful and unconstitutional targeting of conservative group. There's We the Kingdom. I was walking. But you know, it's one that Night is yours alone. Good song. It's easy to go too quickly, so you can tune from the side on this tuning, which is really nice. Um, just you can do little increments. So I can go real slow if I want to, but now I got so much time in the video. We'll be playing Christmas music through January. <laughs> or when we played in, you know, Jesse at Rock got an autograph. You can win one. Bull beat. Rise against. Top evil. John 5. Flush. You can qualify on air and on location. For everything 13 to 
Tires of Exodus 95 Will Rock.com. Ho, 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 ho. Mary Xmas. Presented by Shooter Sports Bar and Billiards in Gray's Lake. 13 guitars. Oh, yeah. The woman sends you reeling from some made it. Which came true the night I fell in love with you. It only cares. What y'all trying to do? Pretty good. With gigantic showrooms and tons of inventory, but honestly, that's taken from an early work by Richard Strauss. He wrote that when he was only 22 years old. It's a symphonic fantasy, as he called it, based on. is the one you give yourself with events and it's okay so here it is you gotta you gotta hear about this oh, by bringing the floor to your door it's so convenient why get the kids ready straight from the north pole request line to your radio <clears throat> sorry about that must be all the eggnog and sugar cookies getting to me take two here's another christmas classic Yay! for the ACA Health Insurance Marketplace is here. Enrolling Get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. With just one spray of Microband 24, your heart is tested by Cambridge University and the Cleveland Clinic, and the results are in. It's proven to increase blood okay we at the top of the band there <laughs> it's quite a bit on the fm band i like that so we're going to go to the bottom here again we're going to do an am band scan real quick and uh we'll do final thoughts on this little retechus uh tr627 the generator <laughs> Like the Terminator, the Generator. <laughs> I liked it. It's awesome. And I just, I really like the looks of this radio. I think it's awesome. I mean, should you buy a radio on looks alone? Well, some people do. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you want a useful radio, uh, this one's useful and looks cool. So, yeah, I like these controls. Again, very simple. They can hand this to anybody and they can figure it out. So, yeah. Bottom of the band here. We'll see what we can pick up real quick. Just going to go through the daytime band real fast. Probably pick up our locals. Remember, it's good for locals and semi-locals only. Okay, am I on AM? Hold on. I did. Yeah. Hello. There we go. Idiot in chief at the, the New York Times, Paul Krugman writes. So here's 560 WIND, Chicago. Anything that you believe people should have taken. If you're a doctor, what did you do? Stop IRS Debt is now offering free information to the toll-free hotline, 800-4157. Call to learn this about the Fresh Start Initiative and other generous new programs that could significantly reduce or even completely eliminate your tax debt. Stop the collection calls, the letters, bank levies, and wage garnishments. Mm -hmm. Get help from a five-star rated tax WTMJ, system that Milwaukee? negotiates with the IRS for you. Have it filed in years already. To attack you and get the basketball from you. That's what I love about this thing because it makes them more aggressive. That's why so selectivity, it just passed 640. It went right to 670. This is a WSTR Chicago, the score. Because it's exciting. You get out on a fast break. You throw all the youth. You get down to the exciting. Right now. We built, did we lose Kendall? I think we did. 720 uh, WGN. We established contact. Well, we know who, who uh, cut the line. 
You sound a slick. But we haul junk the other way. He's got his help. 780 WBBM, Chicago. When your junk disappears, you'll be excited. Like it's fairly accurate so far on the dial. I'm happier when you include what he's under God's junk. Christmas is a type of WBBM. That's WBBM here. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is WBBM. From the Duck Duck Go for Privacy Sports Desk. Here's Josh Lynn to take flight. Ben Bradley gives an exclusive inside look at the new expansion. Tonight on WGN TV News at 9. This is WGN 720. Looking to make your holiday season. Devontae Green are out of those health and safety protocols. Hope to return as soon. Of course, you'll have appellate jurisdiction, both as a law and fact. With such Here's 820 to be CPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. Congress can make. So we got, for example, in 2005, the detail. She wants to hijack the Supreme Court because she says, <laughs> what's the logic? 890 the logic WLS, Chicago. We want to hijack the Supreme Court, the Democrats, because the Republicans are hijacked. He's having a hard time picking up anything faint, distant. Might be picking up a little bit radio out of Chicago. Premium service, a 10% top up bonus every deposit. Get up to $3,000 and an exclusive MVP, experience per diamond club referral and unlock personalized promotions. What are you waiting for? There we go. Sign up for points. For your life to be YLL, let's get a squirrel. To be a skewer, Sycamore usually has music. Twelve hundred WRTO, Chicago. This is 1380. WBEL South Beloit. Neglia and Dr. Tolson and team are all. Shop on the radio. 1410. This is 1490 Iron Country. Volume all the way up. Okay, we'll call it there. All right, turn it off. There we are. So there it is. The Retecus TR627. Is it worth the, say, $26.99 after coupon? Um, it is if you like compact, uh, simple, um, dual-powered radio. Uh, it's simple dynamo crank. Um Everything about it is basic. Uh, it has a decent battery inside of it, uh, that uh, 1,200 milliamp hour cell. It's just not replaceable. But uh, the thing is, though, you can run dry cells if it goes bad. So uh, it has a headphone jack, a power feature that it can charge a phone uh, enough to get a text out. So uh, I think it's worth it if you like the style and the looks and its compactability. If you're more of a budget person, you may want to consider um, probably a little larger radio like the Kato KA336. This is the one I would probably pick up uh, just because it has probably a little higher capacity, has a weather alert. Um, this has uh, all the same output, inputs. It uh, includes a solar panel, but you probably won't be using it as much. But it has a dynamo crank, has the ability to run 
three AAA batteries, and it's cheaper. So just uh, some choices for you, but look at the size. I mean, there's a difference. When I pick this up, it's much heavier. Um, so you, you definitely are getting a heavier radio. So if you need light, compact, simple, this is a winner. Um, definitely, I like it. So it gets a recommended buy if those criteria fit you. Um, definitely a cool looking radio too. Let's zoom the bag down. So there it is, the Retekis TR627. Give it a big like if you like the video. Two if you like Retekis radios, want to see more, subscribe, bell icon. You guys who hit the bell icon, if there's ever a deal, I'll tell you, and you'll score on that. And three, comment below what you think about the TR627. Is it something just right for you? Uh, or is it something that uh, you'd pass on? Or do you have an idea for another emergency radio that's very similar that uh, I might want to look at? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.